Hey, how's it going? It's John again, playing Immaculate Grid, number 560. We're dedicating this one to Jeff Kent and Eddie Murray, who both had 560 career doubles on the dot. Let's see if we can work one or both of them in. I'm going to share my screen. We can get right into it. Played a bunch of grids yesterday. If you want to check those out, I'm going to remove that and hit enter, hit go, and away we go. Eddie Murray and Jeff Kent. Kent will work here. That might be it, though. All right. Uh, let's see here. Chris Sale. And let's get Dwight Evans. For Boston and Baltimore. Dustin Pedroia seems like a pretty popular choice for second base for the Red Sox. Uh, let's go Joey Cora for Seattle and Chicago White Sox. Uh, Seattle and Baltimore, David Segui. We'll work there. Uh, let's see. Second base, Brett Boone. Frank Thomas down here for 6 4 season. This time he's that one. And Cal Ripken Jr. Obviously had a war that high many times for the Baltimore Orioles. That was at 58 seconds by my, uh, by my check. Uh, just before I was able to get... Uh, Jeff Kenton, I don't think Eddie Murray was... Well, no, Eddie Murray would have worked here. I don't know why I didn't think to use Eddie Murray on a 6-4 season. Pretty sure he'll work there, but... Maybe he'll... Maybe he'll... Uh, I mean... He, he's probably there. I'm I'm pretty confident he had a 6-4 season. But... Uh, I should have at least risked it. Anyway, we'll do a stop, share, reshare. And let's see here. Find that grid. All right. So to start, I think I'm going to go Bill Hall. Point oh nine. Might be early. I don't know if there's a... Because I could go Mike Cameron here. I could also have gone Hall down here. I could go Mark Loretta there. Nah, I, I don't. I don't quite think I had a an Albers grid available to me. Um, let's see here. Go Ed Walsh. I was trying to come up with his name the other day, and I couldn't do it. 1%, full 1%. Okay. Uh, let's see. Baltimore. And Seattle. I know Arthur Rhodes works, but those are actually his two main teams. Yeah, maybe Bill Hall would have been better down there. Um. I believe Moira works. I think Moira briefly played for Baltimore. I was think I think I'm remembering that right. But uh, Mike Morgan he hits these teams, doesn't he? I think. Yeah, but also one percent. All right, where to next? And get my guy Carl Reynolds. Boston and Chicago. Let's see, Baltimore in a six four season. Actually Eddie Murray seems like he'd be an alright pick. He only had sixty eight war for his career, which is steady, constant production over twenty years. Um Let's get some second baseman. Harold Reynolds. I mentioned Cora. I believe Carlos Guillen and David Bell will work. Um, didn't Venia start his career? Mariners. Let's go Fernando Venia. Yeah, point five. Then for Boston, I'm going to go with, uh, I 
feel all right about this. Ed Romero. I know he played for Boston. I know he played second base. We'll see if he did both at the same time. Point one. Nice. Um, yeah, just trying to think of Orioles. I mean, how about, uh, you know, he was a long time Oriole, but Nick Marcakis had a really big warrior in like 08. He takes one. And then we need someone with six war in a season who played second base at some point. Aaron will work. Henry Aaron will work. Um, let's go Malder, though. Point five, And then... Mariners and White Sox. Mike Cameron works. Freddie Garcia works. Uh, Ruben Sierra works. Let's go Ruben Sierra. All right. Rarity of five. I'll take it. Tough game so far, it looks like. Average score under four. Let's see. On the other round, I had... Oh, I, guess, I was right about Jamie Moyer. Also, he was the most popular. Uh, that's right. Griffey did play part of his last season with... Uh, Seattle. I am surprised that Carlton Fisk is higher than Chris Sale. Maybe that's a product of like as the day goes on, you know, people who would whose first instinct will be Carlton Fisk play it earlier in the game in, in the day than people who their first instinct as mine was was to go with the more recent player in Chris Sale. I had one, two, three, four of the uh of the most popular in my time round. And just for kicks and giggles, Eddie Murray. Yeah, he has a couple sixes, six and seven warriors in there. So people say he, he didn't have like a big peak, but I mean, he had six straight top six MVP finishes. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right. Well, thanks so much for playing along and uh, we'll be back at it uh, hopefully tomorrow here. All right now. Peace.